From the end of 1964, the racing effort behind the Ford GT40 project moved from John Wire's Ford Advanced Vehicles to Carroll Shelby's base in America. During 1963 and 4, Carroll Shelby had been amassing experience as a team manager and an organizer rather than as a driver, which was to be of great assistance to him now that racing was based in his factory. Shelby America Incorporated was based at Los Angeles Airport. Shelby's team continued to develop the GT40 and the Cobra Coupe alongside the Ford Mustang and considerable testing was carried out by both Dan Gurney and the late Ken Miles. The main problem was the gearbox on the GT40. The four-speed Colotti was redeveloped and some of the gears were replaced by new ones made by Ford themselves. The real problem was that they required the ZF box. But ZF's lead-in to manufacture of the box incorporated a long delay. So they had to make do with the Colotti until the new ZF box was available. Shelby had been supplied with two chassis by John Wire, and these were entered for the first race of the season at Daytona. The cars were to be driven by Ken Miles and Lloyd Ruby, with Richie Ginther and Bob Bondurant in the second car. They were backed up by a team of Shelby Cobras, three Daytona Coupes in the GT class. The only part of the race saw a battle between the Fords and the North American racing team Ferrari of Surtees and Bandini, with the Lotus 19 fitted with a 5.3-litre Ford V8 engine driven by Dan Gurney also in the throng. The battle ranged backwards and forwards until Ferrari ran into tyre problems, which were to dog them for the rest of the race. This left the Gurney Grand Lotus in the lead, which it held for over 500 miles until its Ford Special Development engine went bang and it expired. The Miles Ruby GT40 then took the lead, which it maintained to the finish to give Ford their first victory, with Ginther and Bonger in third, and the Schlesser Lech Coupe in fourth place. In the GT category, this was a good result, because it took the title there as well. The same two Fords were entered for Sabre, to be driven by Miles and McLaren, Phil Hill and Richie Ginther. The Shelby Cobras were also in attendance, but the fastest car on the course was the Chevrolet V8-powered Chaparral of Jim Hall and Hap Sharp. Ferrari had refused to enter his works cars due to a dispute with the organizers, so the only Ferraris entered were private ones. The race started in fine warm weather, and the Chaparral made the most of it and went off into the lead, which it never lost. The Graham Hill Pedro Rodriguez 275P Ferrari was second for eight hours until the weather changed. A massive cloudburst flooded the track and left the pits in six inches of water. Shortly after, the clutch on the Ferrari expired and the car was withdrawn. This let the Miles McLaren GT40 up to second place, the leading car in the prototype championship, Ford's second victory. The first Ferrari was the Piper Max 275 LM, which was third. The Schlesser Bonger and Daytona Cobra Coupe was first in the GT category, showing the GT Ferraris the way 